Welcome back to our AI in action powering up with Power Automate series. In the previous video, we showed you how you can get started with AI prompts in AI Builder. And in this video, we'll show you how you can add generative AI to your cloud flows with AI prompts. Let's get straight into it. For a quick recap and context for this video, I'm here in the Power Automate AI prompt section and I've created an AI prompt that summarizes employee feedback and proposes potential solutions to address them. To see how it works, let's test the prompt and provide the sample feedback, as well as the name of the employee giving feedback. Test the prompt, and after a few seconds, an AI response is given. So that's the AI prompt in action. Let's see how we can use this in Power Automate. I'll now close out the prompt, head over to Create, and select Automated Cloudflow. Under Trigger, let's search for New Email, and select when a new email arrives under Office 365 Outlook. Then click Create. With the designer opened, I'll select the trigger and start to configure its parameters, starting with the subject filter and the folder. The idea of this flow is that when a new email arrives in the inbox folder with a subject that contains employee feedback, then a process needs to start that takes the body of that email, which is assumed to be the feedback, and then we pass the body into the AI prompt we just saw, and then we send back the AI response to the sender of the email. So with that, let's process the body of this email that comes through by adding an action called HTML to text to strip all the HTML from the body of the email so that we just have the text. Next, we have to get the user profile of the email sender so that we can get their name. For that, we'll select the Office 365 Users Connector and select the Get User Profile action. And then for this, we can use the From tag, which is the email sender email address. This will filter out their user profile. Now with all the information acquired, let's call our AI prompt. Add an action, select AI Builder, and then click on Create Text with GPT using a prompt. I'll then select the prompt I have created. And then for our dynamic value inputs, I'll go ahead and select the given name from the user profile action for the name of employee. And then for employee feedback, I'll select the plain text content taken from the body of the email. So to recap what we've done so far, wait a minute. Let's ask Copilot to recap for us. In Copilot, we'll ask, what is this flow doing? And after a few seconds of the Copilot working, we should get an answer. This flow is triggered when an email with the subject's employee feedback is received in the inbox folder. It converts the HTML content of the email to plain text, retrieves the user profile of the sender, and creates a text using GPT with the sender's name and the feedback content. That is exactly what we've done thus far, and you too can use Copilot to summarize your flows if you need a reminder of the work you have done. Now, let's get back to our flow, so I'll close out this Copilot window. We are going to add an approval step. Let's add an action, and select approvals, and then I'll click on start and wait for an approval of text. Now the reason why we're adding an approval step is because content created by AI can include mistakes and surprises. So it's important to make sure that it is accurate and appropriate before using it. 
To facilitate this process, I will include the AI response text in an approval that allows me to validate and edit the content before using it or in this case, sending it back to the employee. So I'll add a title for the approval. And then I'll add the suggested text to approve or modify. In this case, it is the AI generated response that comes from the AI prompt. Then I'll assign the approval using the to tag from the email. This automatically assigns the approval to the person who received the feedback email. Then for details, I will add the plain text content taken from the body of the email. This will allow the approver to see the original email alongside the AI generated text on the same screen in the approval center. And then finally, Let's go ahead and add a condition and we'll configure it to say when the outcome of the approval is equal to approve. In other words, when the AI response text is modified and approved, then an email needs to be sent. So let's go ahead and add that email in. We'll select Office 365 Outlook and look for send an email. We'll use the from tag from the email because this will allow us to send the email back to where it came from, back to the sender. Let's add in a subject as well, response to your recent feedback. And then the body of the email is the accepted AI response. So let's go ahead and add that in from the approval. So whatever text is modified and approved in the approval center will be the text that is sent back as a response. With that, let's name our flow, respond to employee feedback, and then save. Once saved, I will go ahead and test it manually and I'll perform the triggering action by sending myself an email in Outlook. So let's go ahead and say new email. Subject is employee feedback. The content of the email is some sample feedback. And of course, we will be sending this to myself. Let's go ahead and send that email. Once the email is received in my inbox, we can go back to Power Automate to see all the actions have been hit and is now waiting for an approval. And then we can go to the approval center. We can click on the new approval and see the title of the approval. We'll also see the original email in the detail section. And then we'll see the AI response that needs our approval. What's also great about this that I can look through it and make sure that it is correct, maybe add some small adjustments and fix any mistakes that it might have. Once I'm happy, I can go ahead and approve it and click confirm. Once the response has been recorded, I can go back to Outlook and we should then see the response come through. And to confirm, if we go back to Power Automate, we can see that the flow indeed ran successfully. And there you have it. Now to recap what we've done, let's go back into edit mode, back to Copilot, and let's once again ask it, what is this flow doing? And we can see that Copilot tells us that this flow is triggered when a new email with the subject employee feedback is received in the inbox folder. It converts the HTML content of the email to plain text, retrieves the user profile of the sender, generates a text response using a custom prompt, starts an approval process for the text suggestion, and sends an email with the accepted text if the outcome of the approval is approved.
Now, again, that is exactly what we've done in this video. We have built a complete end-to-end -end use case using AI prompts and cloud flows in Power Automate. Hope you found this video useful and don't forget to read the description for all the links and resources that will make you successful incorporating generative AI into your cloud flows. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Microsoft Power Platform YouTube channel to receive a notification of the next episode in our AI in Action Powering Up with Power Automate series.